Hey guys, as many of you will know, I'm getting married at the end of this year in India. As such, I've been doing a lot of research recently to find the best value gym. In this video, I'll be sharing my research to help you choose the best gym membership for your needs. I'll be comparing the big chains like Les Mills, Anytime and City Fitness, among many others, and looking at their membership options, the target audience, pricing, all the information you need to consider when choosing a gym. Choosing the right gym is critical to ensure you stay committed, so make sure you watch right to the end of this video as I share many useful tips that I've learned throughout this process. If you haven't already, please make sure to subscribe to my channel down below to see more content just like this in the personal finance and investing space. Let's get into it. Let's first take a look at the biggest chains across New Zealand. Currently, the largest chain is Snap Fitness with 60 locations nationwide. They are followed closely by Anytime Fitness with 58, Jets with 53, City Fitness with 46 locations, Flex Fitness with 36, and finally Les Mills with 12. As of the last count, there were 861 gym and fitness centres around the country, with these top players representing roughly 31% of the market. In this video, I'll focus on them. Let's start by looking at the largest gym chain, Snap Fitness. Snap was founded 20 years ago in 2003 in the United States and entered the New Zealand market in 2009. It has since grown its footprint to well over 2,500 clubs in 24 countries, including the likes of Turkey, the Philippines, Spain, India and the United Kingdom. Over in Australia they have 246 clubs as of June this year. Being a SNAP member gives you access to any of their clubs around the world, even if you move overseas you can continue paying here in New Zealand but enjoying their club facilities abroad. As mentioned they have 60 clubs in New Zealand with a presence in all corners of the country from Whangarei to Invercargill. Members have 24-7 access to each gym, which each sets their own schedule for classes that members are free to attend. Members also have access to the SNAP app, which has a range of features including a fitness tracker, on-demand workouts, among others. Using my local gym as a reference, they currently offer two memberships, each with a $99 upfront fee for new users. If you sign up for a 12-month period, your effective payments will be $22.70 a week, charged fortnightly. If you want an open term membership, you'll pay a slightly higher weekly rate of $24.70. Closely following behind Snap Fitness is Anytime Fitness. Anytime was founded in 2002, one year before Snap, also in the United States. Interestingly, both Snap and Anytime were both founded in Minnesota. In 2011, Anytime entered the New Zealand market. Today it has over 5,000 clubs in 50 countries, with a huge presence in the US, Japan and Australia especially. Over the ditch they have over 500 clubs. Like Snap Fitness, as a club member you'll have access to all Anytime Fitness gyms globally, with the same 24-7 access to exercise at any time. What you'll need to look out for with Anytime, as well as many franchise gyms, is what your local one offers. When I did my research, I found many of them to be quite small and cramped. It all depends on what you're looking for. After all, even the All Blacks train during game week at the Wyndham Street Club. Anytime also operate classes on schedules specific to each club and have a useful app for tracking your fitness goals and Anytime workouts. Like Snap, Anytime has clubs all the way from Whangarei to Invercargill, but with a greater concentration of clubs around the Auckland and Canterbury regions. Anytime currently offers two membership options, each with three different payment frequencies. For a 12 month plan, your effective weekly charge is $19.50, which is roughly $3 a week cheaper than at Snap Fitness. For a flexible membership that allows you to cancel with a notice period, it comes to $22.50 a week. Do note however that they do charge a higher joining fee of $148 for new joiners. Oddly, this does differ by club, as the key fob fee is $10 more pricey in Hobsonville than in Westgate. It always pays to negotiate. Third up is Jets, which is an Australian chain founded on the Gold Coast in 2007. When launched, it was the first gym over this side of the world to offer 24-7 access and no lock-in contracts. They opened their first gym in New Zealand in 2010 and have since expanded to the Netherlands in 2013, the UK in 2014 and Thailand in 2016. In total there are now over 280 Jets clubs around the world and 250,000 members. As mentioned earlier, 53 of these are in New Zealand from Whangarei to Dunedin. Looking at the map, these are almost entirely concentrated in the North Island. As compared to the other two gyms that we've already covered, Jets appears to target a more price conscious customer that wants a convenient, low cost and always available gym. They also have an app that's available to members, however it does appear to be a slimmed down version of the Snap and Anytime ones. Jets does memberships a little bit differently to the other gyms we've looked at, as they charge a different price depending on whether you want access to all clubs nationwide or just your local one. Starting with single club access, you'll pay $9.99 a week on an 18 month contract. 
$12.99 on a 12 month contract or $15.99 on a flexible month by month contract. If however you want access to all of the clubs, it comes between two and three dollars more per week. You'll also get access to fitness challenges, membership holds if you want to pause for a bit, and refer a friend rewards. In addition to the weekly charges, Jets also charge join fees of $39, including the key fob. As at the time this video was made, they're also offering two weeks free, along with just a $10 key fob charge for the contract plans. Fourth up is City Fitness, the first gym in this video to be founded in New Zealand. City was founded in the year 2000, opening their first gym in Porirua. They've since expanded to 46 locations, with a 47th on its way, with clubs from Whangarei to Invercargill. It is one of the more popular clubs in New Zealand for its low prices and convenient locations, such as the two-storey club in the middle of Auckland down Queen Street. Like many other gyms featured, they also offer 24-7 gyms, have an app, and offer classes to members. Their app has a few features for some of the more advanced members, including a portal for finding a personal trainer, the class schedules, at-home exercises, among others. City Fitness has a reputation for being extremely busy in its peak times, owing especially to their super low membership plans, which from my research were among the lowest in Auckland's Northwest. They have three membership plans available to members. Their cheapest is just $6.99 a week, the lowest in the study, offering basic access to all clubs nationwide. It also carries a 12 month contract. Next up from there is the Black Membership, coming in at $13.99 a week. This gives you the flexibility to cancel any time, access to the group classes, and massage shares. A unique point with this plan is that you can not only bring guests during staffed hours, but you can also bring family members over the age of 16. So if you are a couple, City Fitness could save you some big bucks. And finally, there's the Premium Membership, coming in at $16.99 a week. This gives you access to yoga classes, recovery rooms, and premium Wi-Fi. All plans have a $49 joining fee, which is among the lowest in this video. Next up is Flex Fitness. Flex opened its first gym in Hamilton in 2010, and went on to open its second in Palmerston North in 2012. It then expanded to eight gyms by 2016, grew to 20,000 members in 2021, and today it has 36 gyms nationwide. When I was looking for a gym, it was clear that Flex Fitness offers perhaps the most premium experience. The equipment looked to be of a higher standard from a brand named Techno Gym, with their app showing you exactly how to use each piece of machinery. The app, like the others, allows you to book into classes, track progress, and get access to at-home exercises. I got the vibe the gym is more tailored towards building muscle, especially if you're a bodybuilder, however it certainly does have equipment catering to all fitness goals. My local club in Westgate even has an Olympian running weekly classes on best practice for lifting weights. Joining Flex, you'll have access to all their gyms nationwide, 24-7 access, and several classes a week focusing on different functional areas. They also offer several premium add-ons, things like fitness challenges, body scans, and personalized programs to help you on your fitness journey. Journey. As a premium gym, their prices are a little bit higher than some of the others in this video. For a 12 month membership, the cost is $25 a week, increasing to $27 a week for a 6 month contract, and $29 a week for a flexible term. You also get a complimentary consultation from a personal trainer upon joining. And finally we have Les Mills, perhaps the most famous gym in our list. Founded in Auckland all the way back in 1968, Les Mills has grown out to 12 clubs across New Zealand, but a presence in over 20,000 clubs globally that use their proprietary fitness classes. Many of their classes, such as Body Pump, Grit, and The Trip, can be experienced all around the world and it all started from their Victoria Park location. In New Zealand they have six clubs in Auckland, one in Hamilton, three in the Greater Wellington region, one in Christchurch and another in Dunedin. Les Mills, like Flex Fitness, offer a premium gym experience with a wide range of equipment suited to all. In terms of classes, Les Mills is unrivaled as not only are they proprietary but also extremely plentiful with a packed schedule. Here for example is a week of classes at their Victoria Park Club and that's just the ones in the morning. If you can't make it to their in-person classes, all Les Mills members also get access to their Les Mills at home exercises which are available on demand. The Les Mills app is limited as compared to some of the others in this video, allowing you to simply scan in, book into your classes, and that's about it. However, for at-home exercises, in addition to the Les Mills at home, you can also use Les Mills Plus, which has over 1,500 at-home exercises. So in summary, if you want a higher quality gym with many world-leading classes, Les Mills might be a good fit. Do take note, however, that Les Mills is not 24-7 like the others in this video, and they actually close rather early, so if you're heading to the gym off-peak, Les Mills probably won't work for you. 
To join your local Les Mills club, you have a few options with prices different depending on the club you select. Using the main Victoria Street venue as a reference and for access to a single club, a 24 month contract will set you back $27.30 a week. With a reduced 12 month plan, this will cost you $30.50 a week. If however you want access to all of the Les Mills clubs nationwide, the pricing increases by 50 cents a week. You also have access to a flexible plan with just the one month minimum term coming in at $35.50 a week. You you can also bring a guest for up to two complimentary visits on any of these plans. So here is a summary of all the gyms compared during this video. Based on my research, if you're looking for a premium gym with lots of group class options, Les Mills is likely your best option. If you're looking for a premium gym experience but are into lifting weights or are less interested in group classes, Flex Fitness is another great option to explore. In the middle of the pack is Snap Fitness and Anytime Fitness, which cater to everyone no matter what your fitness goals are. Travelling internationally is also not a problem with the huge global network of clubs you can attend. And finally we have Jets and City Fitness, which cater to gym goers that are looking for a value option and more focused on self-guided workouts. City Fitness also caters to people who have lots of friends or family that want to also share their membership on the more premium memberships. Personally, I join City Fitness as I work out late into the evenings and am happy to be self-guided. At $7 a week it was also substantially cheaper than all the other options. When I was flatting in Hearn Bay back in 2020, I was a part of Les Mills. They were a fantastic gym to be a part of too and I really enjoyed it. Now living out in the northwest of Auckland, it is a bit too far to travel. So that rounds out the six largest gym franchises in New Zealand. If you like this video and want to see more just like it, please make sure to subscribe to my channel down below. Thanks for watching and I look forward to catching you on the next one. Cheers.